The following program is made possible by grants from the Hillman Foundation and the Pennsylvania Public Television Network. invited to celebrate with us the opening of the Sarah Skate Gallery, an exciting and momentous event for both Pittsburghers and visitors to our city. This simple, elegant building is the new setting for the Carnegie Institute Museum of Art's permanent collection. It was presented to the community by the Scaife Foundation and the Scaife family in memory of Mrs. Sarah Scaife. The architect who designed the gallery, Edward Larrabee Barnes, made it very clear that he envisioned a structure which would support and display art rather than compete with it. New York Times art critic John Russell hailed his creation as an unflawed paradise and declared that it has already taken its place among the unquestioned successes of modern museum building. In this next hour, we invite you to join us on a musical tour of the Sarah Scaife Gallery to see for yourselves why Pittsburgh is so proud of it.
In the past, art lovers have viewed many of the paintings which composed the permanent collection now hanging in the Sarah Scaife Gallery in the Carnegie Institute Cultural Complex to which the Scaife is adjoined. Here in their new home, in the quiet, simple, white settings of the second floor galleries, quite a few visitors have noted that familiar paintings take on new interest and vitality, even the old masters reposing in their fine oak floored gallery.
The director of Carnegie Institute's Museum of Art, Leon Arcus, has described the Sarah Scaife Gallery as a humanistic building that affords an ideal atmosphere for viewing art. Mr. Arcus, what particular qualities of the Scaife Gallery led you to make that statement? This, the utter simplicity of the galleries, there's nothing to stand between you and the paintings other than people. But actually, there's nothing grandiose or shiny like marble that's all the material. There's nothing to sort of take your eye away from the purpose of your visit, which should be to look at works of art. And uh, I think, too, that uh, there are no long, should I say, alleyways with doors coming off them to give you a sense of fatigue. I think the natural light, too, brings in a sort of a humanistic element. It's uh, an everyday affair to look at light, I hope. And uh, I think this also provides this, I'd say, perfect ambiance for looking at paintings. What has public reaction to the gallery been so far? Public reaction has been sensational. Uh, it was fabulous opening night. I don't think I shall ever forget it. I just think it's a marvelous thing for, uh, for Pittsburgh and for Pittsburghers um, to be able to provide something uh, like this. The Scape family have given to us, uh, as a citizen I'm speaking now, something that we can all enjoy. And you can see how many people are enjoying it tonight. How long have you been involved in the act of planning for this large building? Well, I've been involved about eight years. <laughs> and now that it's all over, I'm going to be sort of lonely, you know. I, I'll miss it. It's been great fun. I've worked with all these men and had a wonderful time and they've accepted some of my ideas and we've all worked together and it's been just great. Well, I think it's extremely exciting, I guess like everyone else. And I'm really surprised you're just from me, looking from the street, you can have no idea that all this is going on inside, you know, from seeing you know, the time of preparation and whatnot going on. I think it's very exciting. I'm very happy about it. This is done in a way that's very exciting. I think when you walk in, the the building, the uh, fountains, the first sculptures that you see when you come in have a festivity about them, which I think is very good. There's nothing stuffy or gloomy or arty-schmarty about this. It's, it's quite exciting. And I think it's also a building that's going to be able to use, be used for some other exciting things. I think you're going to find groups coming here, and you're going to find great classes of school children coming here. And it's going to give you a whole other meeting place type of an activity to add another dimension to our cultural life. Directors of the museum, uh, the director himself, Leon Arcus, uh, have done a tremendous job in putting uh, the museum together and the exhibition, uh, the paintings and sculptures, especially the sculpture courtyard. And of course, being a sculptor, uh, I went to it right away. I, I think that David Smith is a very outstanding piece there. And for the first time since we've had it, it's now in its proper environment. 
in most cities, art galleries are kind of uh, bastions for the elite with uptight, nervous guards and uh, uh, very little accommodation for just pleasurable viewing. Uh, here, uh, for instance, the miracle is that they've accommodated that these paintings will mostly be seen in a diffused daylight um, and that there be benches everywhere and a kind of a, a, a very human sense of space for people to enjoy the paintings. And that reflects the city and the intelligence of those who made this uh, gallery in recognizing that, this, that, that human beings really attend this gallery, that this, uh, this is a used gallery, not in a tourist sense or a scholar sense, but that there's a great deal of real natural love of uh, painting and art in this city. One has to reach back and probably unsuccessfully to think of any kind of a private gift that has uh, this scope and grandeur and size and importance that was given to a community as a private as a private gift. I, I can think of nothing like it, perhaps the Heinz Chapel or something, Heinz Hall, but this really is of a size and importance. We've never had a building or a, really a space of our own before uh, to sort of set the paintings apart, to give them their own home, I think, with, with just extraordinary lighting. Have you been here in the daytime? Maybe not yet? Well, it's, I know of no other museum with the, the sense of light and of space that this has. Not just that I work here, but I've been in a lot of them across the country simply because I like it. But uh, this is quite different, very special, very good. You know, I've been here for 20 years, and I've been watching the expression of people's faces. Uh, it's one way of learning how your exhibition's going over. At every opening, you sort of saw the same expression. But when we opened here, it was something entirely different. For the first time, I think, I ever saw pride on people's face. So, and um, uh, I think a day or two after we opened, one of the local architects yelled across the corridor uh, when he spotted me and said, uh, uh, it's beautiful. This is over the heads of people. <laughs> he said, I'm, uh, I'm proud to be a Pittsburgher. Uh, those are very sweet words. <laughs>
To honor the opening of the Sarah Scaife Gallery in the most meaningful, exciting way, a special collection of 77 paintings loaned by art galleries, museums, and private collectors was assembled. Appropriately enough, the exhibition was entitled Celebration.
One of the outstanding features of the Sarascafe Gallery is the soft natural light which illuminates the white interiors of the second floor galleries. The source is skylights which have been placed in each of the major roof sections. Here you can see the subtle effect of this lighting in a gallery filled with the works of 18th and 19th century American artists.
It is interesting to note that of the approximately 700 paintings listed in a recent catalog of the Museum of Art's collection, more than 40% have been acquired during the past 13 years. The late Sarah Scaife, for whom this gallery is named, provided the impetus for this expansion in 1961. Her family has continued to augment the group of French Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings in this gallery, which highlights the permanent collection.
In this past hour, we couldn't possibly begin to show you all of the things that go into making the Sarah Scaife Gallery so fine a setting for art. We do hope that we have shown you that it is a humanistic building, both in feeling and in scale. A place where people come to talk about art, to enjoy it and experience it, rather than quietly tiptoeing about being overwhelmed by it. Most of all, we hope that we have inspired you to come and see it for yourself. The preceding program was made possible by grants from the Hillman Foundation and the Pennsylvania Public Television Network.